This is the time of the year for spring calving operations that I think presents one of the largest challenges in terms of nutrition for these spring calving cows. The cows are just calving or have calved and we want them to go into the breeding season that might be about six weeks or two months away in as good a body condition as they are at calving time. That's very difficult to do because the pastures that we're on, for the most part, the warm season grasses, whether they be Bermuda grass or native grasses, those things are still dormant. They haven't grown enough yet to supply the protein and energy that these cows need as, as early lactation cows in order to maintain their body condition. Why is this so important? Well, let's look at some data that comes from Oklahoma State University a number of years ago where we looked at cows that were in a body condition score of about a midpoint five in our one through nine scale at calving time. Half of the cows were allowed to stay in that body condition score. In other words, they were given enough in terms of protein and energy as well as the hay that they were getting to maintain that body condition into and through the breeding season. The other half of the cows were allowed to lose a body condition score down to about a midpoint four between calving and the start of the breeding season. And as you see on this particular graphic, the resulting rebreeding performance is substantially different. There's about a 21% difference in terms of those cows that could maintain that body condition going into the breeding season performing at a much better level. So, as we think about where our cows are at calving time. Let's look at this cow on the screen. This is that cow that's in that midpoint five here at calving time. We want to do what we can to maintain that and not let her slip into this thinner body condition as you see in this body condition score four example that we've got uh, on the screen right now. We need to continue our supplementation program whether it's something like range cubes or high quality hay so that those cows are getting the protein and energy in addition to the standing forage that's already out there. We want to maintain that body condition in the best way that we can between now and the start of the breeding season. I know that feed's expensive, but losing 21% of next year's calf crop will be even more expensive. Keep this in mind as we go through this next six weeks to two months, I think it'll help us in terms of our bottom line in the long run on our spring calving beef herd. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you ne again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner. <music>